Uh, while I wait for those parts to develop, I like to read. I'm very smart, love to read. Lord have mercy, child. It may be a new year. Get ready to memesturbate off of this one. 90 Day Fiance star who made 38,000... That's in like British pounds sterling. So what is that, like $42,000 or something? The chick who basically made like 50 grand a week selling her farts in jars. Oh, I can't say that, Stu? I'll just edit it out. Well, anyway, she's selling her farts in a jar. She's hospitalized because she thought she was having a heart attack. If there's one thing that the world has taught me in the last four years of content creation, it's this. E-girls will find new ways to monetize themselves and they'll always find new ways to f*** themselves up. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. I'll tell you this, children. I don't care what anyone says. The e-girl specializes in destruction and only destruction. Of course she can make money because this day and age has produced a gluttony of weak males. They don't know what gender they want to be, but they certainly know they admire the female form to the point of where they'll just throw money at her. For a reality star who made $200,000, selling fart jars has just announced her retirement. What? Oh no! After she was rushed to the hospital for squeezing out too many. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Uh, Jack Murphy's lucky. This is the new hotness. You ever thought that there'd be a day when you check the news and someone would be hospitalized for trying to squeeze out too many farts? And it shows you that women can't do things as well as men. Mr. Methane has been farting for decades and he hasn't been hospitalized once. But then again, I'm 100% sure he has not made the money this girl has made. <laughs> Mr. Methane is a stupid son of a bitch. He's been farting for so long and nobody cares. Like this dude was capable of farting 50 times in a row or some wild stuff and he's broke. He's running around in a stupid costume looking like the Riddler's retarded brother, Daryl. <laughs> this chick farts for two weeks and clears 250,000, a quarter of a million dollars and she's almost dead. Stephanie Maddow, I think her name is, I don't care. She's not dating me or put money in my pocket, so. <laughs> From Connecticut, recently found herself in the A&E with symptoms of a heart attack after experiencing shooting pains in her buttocks and chest. <laughs> Concerned doctors perform a blood test with the EKG, but later told the 90 Day Fiance TV star, she's not a TV star. She's on 90 Day Fiance like what, two years ago, right before it hit? Right before the virus hit? For YouTube, because God knows you can't say certain things. And they, they act like she was a star. She was obnoxious as hell on the show. So you knew about friends. that before you even came here. No, I didn't. Do you know how many friends you have, Erica? Do you know how many names am I supposed to? Chess, Jeb, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. How am I supposed to know that that person standing in front of me is the person I had sex with? Get the out of here. Let's see. Told the 90 Day Star that symptoms were actually caused by excessive gas from her frequent diet of beans, eggs, and banana protein shakes. Somehow, this is this is a full-grown woman. At no point did she stop and think to herself, maybe I'm taking it too far. Maybe I need a normal diet. I should space out my constant ass ripping. But this chick was 100% sure she was gonna be a multi-millionaire, so she was squeezing them out like crazy. This level of greed is only known by women in dark side Phil. That's very alarming, is that I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Speaking of the moment she took ill, Steph said, I thought I was having a stroke and that these were my final moments. I was overdoing it. Could you imagine? You think you're dying and you're like, oh, I'm going to die with a legacy of farts. She's probably like, <laughs> she probably thought she was dying. And the only thing she could think of is how she didn't get to finish selling the last 10 jars, you know? She began selling her farts in a jar in November last year after receiving requests on the adult site Unfiltered. Ah, we just promoted her adult site that she created, which is OnlyFans knockoff number one billion. The unique product, unique product, this has been going on forever. People have been selling farts for years. My God. I don't know why I'm perturbed by that. They're like, 
they act like she discovered gold or something. Like some unique thing. No, it's never been done before. No one's thought of it. I wouldn't be surprised if like Alinity was selling farts at some point. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we come to the part of the program which is always my favorite because it means something. This video is sponsored by Galaxy Lamps because YouTube hates me. The Galaxy Lamp 2.0 fills your space with mesmerizing spotlights. I recommend the blue version, by the way. Once the beams leave the matrix and strikes your surface, you'll be immersed in an alternate universe of constellations. Galaxy Lamps has an app for the projector itself that gives you more color options, custom themes, adjustable rotational speed, and the ability to set timers, schedules, and so on. If you don't really like installing apps on your phone, which I completely understand, there's a settings button on the lamp itself, but it only comes with six preset settings. So that's kind of the drawback. The Galaxy Lamp is perfect for any room, any setting, especially while watching films. It's safe for the whole family because it uses low wattage lasers that produce less heat, it's safe for kids, and it's pet friendly. By the way, it's a very unique gift that I strongly only recommend giving to chicks because they seem to love it. I don't think a normal dude would admit to owning this. Go to galaxylamps.ko slash it's a Gundam to save 15% off your order today. Unique Products saw her take in cash of $1,000 per jar, though Steph offered a 50% discount during the festival period. Well, um, I forgot what it's called, Hollywood Now or something. They have confirmed that the jars would go as low as $100 depending on what time of the season it was. Your money. Now on a good day, you can get a deal of buying the farts for a hundred bucks, but on a bad day, like leading up to the holidays, well, this thing can set you back as much as a thousand dollars. But since Christmas was coming up, she jacked the price to one grand. Then I guess she felt bad. And you know, cause every kid wants one of her fart jars for Christmas. So she gave a 50% discount over the holiday season in honor of the baby Jesus. To keep up with demand, which saw her squeeze out 50 jars worth of farts a week. It doesn't sound like a lot for a week. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I haven't bothered to keep track of my farts. The last video I did on this, they were like, um, you were promoting sex. I'm like, good God almighty. You just hate me. Say it. I uh, saw her squeeze got $50, 50 jars worth of farts a week. The self-proclaimed fartrepreneur. Oh my God. <laughs> we're doomed. The world is burning. Let's meme sturbate. Opted to opted for a high fiber diet, living off of beans and eggs. She later added protein shakes to the mix after discovering it made the fart smell worse. I like to get things rolling with some beans, a protein muffin, sometimes even a yogurt, less sugar is better, some hard boiled eggs, and today I decided I was going to make myself a protein shake with some yogurt added to it, and oh. Yummy! <laughs> I went too hard! around oh cut the camera cut the ah uh, what a hero the hero we need but not the one we deserve stephanie maddow the fontrepreneur revealing the lead up to the hospital visit steph said i remember with one day within one day i had about three protein shakes in a huge bowl of black bean soup Yummy. i could tell something was not right that evening when i was laying in bed and i could feel a pressure in my stomach moving upwards. It was quite hard to breathe. And every time I tried to breathe in, I felt a pinching sensation around my heart. After that, of course, made my anxiety escalate. I actually called my friend and asked if they could come over and drive me to the hospital because I thought I was experiencing a heart attack. This is how you know this girl likes money. She could have called for an ambulance, which probably would have ran $800 usually in New York. Wherever she is, Connecticut is probably cheaper because everything's more expensive in New York. Instead of opting for an ambulance, she's like, could you come over and save me? She wouldn't even call an Uber. This girl wants to hold on every cent she's got. She's the Ebenezer Scrooge of butt juices. I actually called my friend. I ended up going to the hospital that evening. I, did, I didn't tell my doctors about the farting in the jar, but I did tell them about my diet. 
It was made clear that what I was experiencing wasn't a stroke or a heart attack, but a very intense gas pains. I was advised to change my diet and take gas supplement medication, which has effectively ended my business. No! Yeah, how do you like that, China? Yeah. Suck it up. Yeah. That's life, lady. Yeah. Welcome to show business. Uh, let's see. Despite financial success, the reception to her unique business venture has been divided. I couldn't care less. It's the usual stupid stuff you see chicks do to make money. Like, it is what it is. And she wasn't even the best at it. But she made the most money, and that's all we care about. Steph said I have a lot of people praising me, calling me a girl boss, telling me that I inspire them to be unashamed of who they are and what they do. No, you need shame. Shame is very important. Shame keeps you from doing stupid sh That's the problem with this world today. A lot of people have absolutely no shame. And that's why they're running around on Twitter talking about their sexual preferences with weird stuff that I can't say because YouTube will demonetize me. Those people need to be ashamed. Leave the damn dogs alone. But on the other hand, I began getting a lot of negativity. I've even received death threats. People telling me I should end my life and so on. That's life on the internet. You do anything, someone's going to tell you to die. Literally, that's everyone that's ever been on the internet. Anyway, this article doesn't even pick up on the best part. That's where we have to go to Metro UK. This girl's all over the goddamn place. Stephanie is now retired from selling fart jars. A relief to her family. But she has managed to find another unique way to make money from it. Yes! Oh, there is a god. Her clients will no longer be able to own physical jars of her butt gases. But they will be able to purchase them as digital artworks on the blockchain. That's right. She is now releasing fart jars that are NFTs. If you buy a fart jar NFT, you deserve to be ridiculed. Look, I've got my very rare Stephanie Maddow fart jar. How can you do an NFT of fart jars? Because literally, don't they have to be different each one? So what, is one going to have like three petals? One's going to have one petal? That's it? You might be able to say that much like her career, Stephanie has a second win. Isn't this her third win? Her first one was 90 Day Fiance, pretending to be bi. Then she was trying to do like a vlogger thing before that. Then after 90 Day Fiance, she tried to be a vlogger and sex worker. Then after being a sex worker, she started selling farts and that's when people got interested. So this is like the fourth win. I don't know. I'm like perturbed because I have to look at this. And then I have to try and make it funny while also being within community guidelines. Because God forbid you sit there and you make a funny little joke about someone who made a career out of ripping ass. But the sad thing is she's made a quarter of a million of dollars farting in jars and there's a dude right now exhausted in his Amazon truck trying to make his damn drop rate so he doesn't lose his job and God bless him we need Amazon driver man or woman fart jars no this is a low in our societal standards this is why the aliens haven't come there will be no cure for cancer because we're buying fart jar NFTs and maybe it's God's will Adios, bichachos. I'm done with this one, Stu. I'm sickened. I need more orange juice. I do feel bad for Mr. Methane, though, dude. Could you imagine for years you're like this stupid internet pariah for taking farts, right? You're doing farts, and your biggest break was being on the Howard Stern show. And he still broke wearing that stupid costume. But this chick farts in a jar, and not only is she all over the news and being held as like some sort of entrepreneur and hero and a girl boss, but she gets rich from it. And you are still dressed like the goddamn Riddler.